Hello, Press Play VBS 2021. Welcome to day four of the Mission Station. And my name is Pastor Phoebe. Can't you guys believe it? It's day four already. Oh, time passes by too quickly when you guys we're, when we're having lots of fun here at Press Play VBS. Well, let me ask you a few questions. You can type it in the chat or you can shout it out right here. Okay, so what organization we have been partnering with in the mission station. Yes, it is Compassion International. Well, do you guys remember what Compassion International goals is? Yes, which is to release kids from poverty in Jesus' name. Well, what is our memory verse and where is it from? Do you guys remember? Yes, from John 15, 12. And this is what it says. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Well, in the mission station on day two, we got to play some activities. Yesterday, we did a bit of crafts and we've been watching lots and lots of videos to understand what Compassion International is doing. And not only that, how we can assist children in poverty through the You Matter mixtape. By the end of this week, we encourage your families to give a donation to Compassion International to support these children. So in the Bible story yesterday, we learned about a man named, do you guys remember? Zacchaeus. Every time I look at a tree, I always think of Zacchaeus because he climbed all the way up a tree in order to see Jesus because he was too short. Well, Jesus saw Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus' life is changed. Well, our main idea today is that I can have confidence because I can change. Well, let repeat after me. Let's say that one more time. I can have confidence because I can change. Great job, everyone. Well, one of the tools that we can help change us and our hearts is prayer. So actually, we are going to be doing something. It is called the prayer tree. Let's check that out. Well, today we've learned that I can have confidence because I can change. Well, even in today's story about learning Zacchaeus that he can change his life and we too can change our lives. And one of the methods is actually through prayer. Well, let me ask you a question. What is prayer? Well, we know that prayer is communicating to God and even talking to Him. Well, when do you usually pray? I like to pray when I am vacuuming, cleaning, or washing the dishes. Well, I know that some of you also pray before your meal time or even before bedtime. Well, we know that we can pray anytime because God is everywhere and He is always listening to us. Prayer is a tool that can change us and our hearts. And that is why I really like this verse from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. It reminds us, rejoice always, pray continually, 
give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God wants to talk to us. We can have confidence that He is always with us and He is always listening to us. So today we are going to make a prayer tree. It is to help us with our prayer time and what to pray for. But not only that is to remind us of the tree that Zacchaeus climbed. And not only that, if his life can change, your life can too as well through Jesus Christ. Well, there are some materials in your VBS kit that we are going to get you to grab. Well, there are these two tree trunks and also there are four leaves in a bag which you're able to find. Also, I'm actually gonna get you to get some tape or even a pen as well because we are going to be writing on the leaves. So the first step is, is to grab your prayer trees and if you see the line, I'm gonna get you to fold it. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to fold the other one as well. Just right on the dotted line. Okay, and it's pretty cool because it stands up like this. Okay, gonna get you to put them two together and I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and I'm just gonna make sure that I stick them together like this. Hopefully you guys can be able to see that piece of tape. So, oh, I didn't do a very good job. But you can do it on one side and you can do it on the other side. And this is our prayer tree. Now this is our tree trunk. Now we are just missing the leaves. So what I'm gonna get you to do is on each leaf, we are going to be praying for either certain people or certain places, and we're gonna to need to write it down, and we're actually gonna have a time of prayer for each leaf we are going to write. So for our first leaf, let us think about a person that we want to pray for. Well, maybe it is a person that has hurt you, a person that, um, that probably has brought you a lot of pain, or even a person that doesn't know Jesus and you want to pray for them. Or you can also pray for a person that you love a lot. So I'm gonna write that person on my leaf. So I want to pray for my friend Lisa is because she is still learning and journeying about Jesus. Well, who is the person that you wrote down? Now, I want you, I'm gonna get, give you a little bit of time. I want you to pray for that person. Okay, once you have prayed for that person, we are going to tape this leaf onto the tree like this. How does it look? 
Okay, let's grab our second leaf. Okay, now why don't we write a place? It could be a country or your school, a grocery store, or even your home, okay? Well, what, are, what is a place that you want to pray for, that you want God's presence to be there? Let me write mine down. Well, I wrote Tanzania and Uganda. I wanna pray for these places, kind of what we learned the other day with through water and sanitation, that these are the places that getting access to clean water is very difficult. So I'm gonna take time, I'm gonna get you to take time to pray for a place. Now, after your prayer time, I'm gonna get you to grab a piece of tape again, okay? And I'm gonna get you to put it on the prayer tree like this. Now for our third leaf, I'm gonna get you to pray for a Christian organization like Compassion International. Let us continue to pray for the staff, the people, and I want to get you to write down a prayer request for Compassion International on this leaf right now. So I wrote down Children in Compassion International. I wanna pray for the children who Compassion International are serving, but not only that, I want to pray that they will continue to have confidence in Jesus. Well, let us take some time to pray for our third leaf. Now, once you're done praying, I'm gonna get to grab this and also a piece of tape. And of course, we put our leaf on our prayer tree like this. But we also have a fourth leaf. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna show you a video right now. And we're gonna pray for children, like we're gonna meet in the video, like John, and that he was able to grow and change through providing uh, education resources that he needs. Well, let us check out the story of John. This is John, and he used to be a compassion child. Because of the help of compassion, he now has started his own plumbing business called J and Sons Plumbing Solutions. 
Children in Uganda are looking to know that they are believed in, that they have potential, that they are loved. John's background is very poor. When Compassion came and helped him by paying his school fees, John was able to gain an education and gain special job skills. When he entered the program, one of his teachers advised him to do vocational training. A teacher asked him, what do you want to study? Some people in John's class wanted to learn about electrical work or carpentry. John was interested in learning about plumbing. Compassion wants to do more than just give someone money. They want to provide children with hands-on skills. These skills will help them become self-employed and be able to help their country in a greater way. Now, John is teaching his nephew plumbing. He also teaches him how God can help him and what it means to have integrity. This skill from compassion empowers him to be able to stand on his own and extend this love for learning and helping his community. John works hard because he does not want his children to suffer the way he suffered as a child. For his family, he knows poverty will not come back. Compassion is working to help children know that God loves them, and God has put these gifts within them to be able to use these skills to change the world around them. Through teaching and training these children in these skills, Compassion enables children to realize the potential God has for them. Wow, wasn't it so good to see how Compassion International was able to help John grow and change? Well, learning new things always changes us. Well, even a teacher in the video asked John what he wanted to learn and it helped change his life for the better. He learned new skills that he needed so that he could be a plumber, but not only that, open his business. Well, do you remember what our main point is today? Is that I have confidence because I can change. Well, why don't we pray for people like John? Well, I know that for one of ours, we did pray for compassion, for the compassion children, but let us pray for specifically people like John, that they can grow in their skills, that may they have resources for education, that they continue to grow and change and have confidence in Jesus. So let me write this down. No, I wrote a long one. I want to pray for people like John to get education so that they can grow and change. So why don't we spend a bit of time and just praying for your fourth leaf. Okay, well, after prayer, I'm gonna get you to put this leaf, of course, on your prayer tree. Okay, can you see the prayer tree right now? Doesn't it look amazing? Well, I encourage you continue to put leaves on this prayer tree 
reminding yourself, kind of like Zacchaeus, while he climbed to the tree and he saw Jesus and Jesus encountered him and his life changed. Not only that, this prayer tree reminds us that prayer is very important and that is how our hearts and our lives can change as we talk to God. Well, I hope that you had a fun time making this prayer tree. I encourage you to add more leaves and to add more prayer items to this tree. So why don't we end off the mission station with a word of prayer? So let's put our hands together and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the story of Zacchaeus reminding that his life changed as he encountered Jesus. That we too can have confidence because we can change and that is through prayer. Thank you for allowing us to talk to you and not only that, giving us the assurance that you are listening to our prayers. As we continue to build on this prayer tree, whether we're praying for our friend, we're praying for a Christian organization, we're praying for people like John, or even just praying for, for things around this world that we want to see change, that Lord, may we continue to have confidence that you are listening to our prayers and that Lord, you are working. So thank you for this time where we get to pray for people like John and that can grow and change through our help and even through a Compassion International. Be with us, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I hope that you enjoyed your time. Well, before you head to the closing ceremony, I actually have a few questions for you. Or maybe this is a question that you can ask people too. Well, in what areas of your life that you have seen prayer change you? And not only that, how can you ask God to continue to change your heart because you have more confidence in Him? So these are the two questions I want to ask you. Well, you have a, a little bit of break before closing ceremony, so answer these questions. But not only that, ask these questions to your parents as well. We'll see you guys in the closing ceremony.